How are you guys? I hope you had a fantastic Christmas like I did. Uh, it was full of very nice food and I hope you had the same experience and will have an even better new year. What did I have for you today is just a, a quick little recipe. I uh, got up this morning and decided to make some French toast. Um, there's a lot of variations to this recipe but I'm just going to show you the bare basics and be done in no time. Tastes great and it'll impress quite a few people. So. I hope you enjoy it. Welcome back guys. We'll get straight into it. We're going to begin by preparing the bread. Now this recipe will show you how to make the basic French toast. And I'm just going to stick a little bit of variation towards it by sticking some banana in it. So what we're going to need to do is grab two pieces of white bread. Now the thicker the bread the better, but I've only got some basic toast bread on hand so this is what I'll be using. Now what we're going to need to do is butter both sides of each slice of bread. And just out of personal preference I remove the crust. You can keep them on if you're that way inclined, I just like them when they're off. Okie dokie, we've got our bread all sorted, now we're just going to need the egg mixture that we're going to soak our bread pieces in. What we're going to do is add two eggs and to sweeten things out, one tablespoon of caster sugar. Finally, we're going to stick in a pinch of cinnamon. This cinnamon will do absolute wonders to the overall flavour of the French toast. We're just going to give everything a nice mix rooney until everything's well combined. Now it comes time to dunk the pieces of bread that we did earlier into this mixture. Now I just put it out on a plate, it makes it a little bit easier for everything to soak up. So soak one side, and once that side soaked, Flip them over and let that side soak through. Now whilst we're doing this we can start preparing our banana. All we're going to do is grab a fork and mash the banana. Now I went a little bit overboard with the banana here. I'd say use half of a banana instead of the full thing like I did. Otherwise it turned out a little bit mushy. You don't want it too mushy. It's cooking time. Now all I've done is melted a little bit of butter in the pan. This will help brown the bread once we stick it in. Now I've got my pan on a high to medium heat and we're just going to let the butter melt fully before we stick in our toast. Now this is how you make your traditional French toast. All you just do is fry your egg soaked toast in the pan until both sides are crispy and golden brown and you can pull these out, serve them with some maple syrup or some hot butter and go down an absolute treat. I'm just going to take things one step further, I'm just going to put some mashed banana we did earlier between the two layers of toast like I'm doing now. And what I'm essentially creating is toast, banana, toast layer. And once it's all cooked, it will be absolutely delicious. When you are applying the banana, be sure to leave a small gap around the edge of the toast for both toasts to compress and glue together if you like to prevent the banana from leaking out of the toast. I've gone a little bit over, overboard so just bear this in mind when, you, when it comes time for you to make it. Once each side of the bread is golden brown they are ready so just whack it onto a plate, cut it in half if you want and you can either dust it with iced sugar like I've done here or smother it in some golden maple syrup. It's up to you. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. It's certainly a good uh, start to the day or even a nice dessert. So there you have it, some delicious French toast. Now keep your eyes peeled in the next few days. I've got a recipe for potato wedges coming up and the possibility of an apple and blackberry pie.